Greetings, this is this, and I'm me, and this puzzle that I have today is similar to one that I did previously, um, this one right here, but this one is much bigger and much more complicated than this one that I will show you how to do, okay? It's, it's just this teeny little puzzle, look, it's already falling apart. Um, Taking it apart, as always, is the easy part. So let me show you that first. Uh, on first glance, it might seem like, oh, weirdly, everything is kind of locked together, you know? Um, I can't, I can't really move any of these pieces, but there is a secret piece. You just have to find it, okay? And mine is a little loose, so it's sliding out. But, um, that secret piece, this is the piece that you'll be able to move. But basically what you have to look for is see that notch in there that's letting me slide this out like this, okay? This, most pieces, see they start in the middle and they go all the way out to the end. This one has in the middle here, but it, there's a chunk taken out, okay? So just find that piece, you know, wherever, whichever way that your puzzle is oriented, find that piece with the chunk taken out because then you can slide this piece right out of here okay can't slide it all the way out yet though then this one over here falls out next and then everything just starts falling apart and everything is loose enough and you can just whoa do that and the whole thing comes apart okay that's the easy part putting it back together a little bit more complicated but actually not really that complicated in comparison to a lot of these puzzles um, because for this one, almost all of the pieces that you have are identical. Well, seemingly identical. So all of these pieces are all the same, right? They, they don't have anything different about them. This is the only one that is different and has a chunk taken out of it right there. Um, and like we saw, this was our key piece that we, that we needed to locate um, towards the end, so we are also going to be putting it back together towards the end. Now, I don't, I'm not the best at which order to put these back together in, and I'm also not the best at how you should probably hold the whole thing when you're putting them back together, but I get it put back together in the end, and that's what counts, right? So you might think, let me just put it back together and then put this piece in wherever it needs to go and everything will be fine. It's not exactly the case because some of these pieces are um, a little bit thicker than others. So I like to just check these pieces and see ones that are like really skinny. You're gonna want really skinny pieces, okay? That have like a lot of wiggle room. See like this one doesn't even fit in this notch. So you don't wanna end up trying to put your whole thing together and realize that the piece that you're supposed to be sliding into that notch doesn't even fit. Okay, so I think the ones at the beginning were skinny ones. They don't have to be like, you know, you don't have to be nitpicky here, but oh, see this one, not a good fit. It's really like, it literally stays in there. That's how snug of a fit that is. That's not what you want. Um, yeah, I think the ones near the beginning were skinnier and just set aside a couple of the skinnier ones. Um, like these ones were all pretty skinny. So, I just, all of these um, are like notable pieces. The rest of these, um, okay, here. Sorry, I haven't zoomed in so much so that you guys get a really close look, but I don't want to accidentally have things out of frame either. Okay, these pieces, pieces I don't really care about. These pieces are notable pieces. I don't necessarily know if I need that many skinny ones, but I just put them all over there anyway. Okay, now, if you'll remember correctly, before this all fell apart, when it was put back together, everything was in doubles, okay? So you should always have two of these next to each other, like this, okay? Just lined up next to each other. So to start, I want two of these on the bottom, okay? And they're nice just sitting, The these parts should be facing up, um, and it's just sitting here for now. But it's going to get a little more complicated in a second because it's not going to be sitting on the table anymore and you're going to have to be really gentle, okay? So I'm going to take two more of these because I keep putting them in doubles. And I'm not worrying right now about which ones should be the skinny ones and which ones should be the notch one. I'm just working on structure right now. I can switch those out with skinnier ones if I want or need to later. So 
I'm going to take two groups of these doubles like this, okay? They're both just like chilling next to each other like this. And these are going to go on each side, here and here, okay? Standing up. But the thing is, these ones in the middle are going to sit on top. You can't see, but they're going to sit on top of these notches, okay? On either side. So I'm going to lift the middle portion up. I'm going to scooch the side pieces in towards the center so that they're touching everything okay every like everything should be scooched together so that it's all touching now see i mean they're not touching on the bottom but they're touching they're touching these pieces in the middle okay and just have everything sit here i know it's not an ideal angle but this way you don't have to hold everything in your hands okay and then We've got some pieces here. Um, I can just take two more of these and put them right on the side like this, okay? Just put them right gently into place there, okay? Now we have four pieces left. The notch piece is going to go in a place, sorry, the notch piece is gonna go in a place so that another one can slide through it, right? Right. But the order is a little bit specific. So what we have to do is like, cause basically two pieces are gonna go right here. Okay. I will put them here um, just for show. Two pieces are gonna go on that side, right? And then you're just going to um, mirror the bottom on the top. So on the bottom we had two pieces like this so on the top, we're going to have two pieces flip the other direction, like this. And they're going to go right in the middle here. And you want this notch piece to be so that the, the hole is on the outside. You don't want the hole facing in. That wouldn't be helpful. You want the hole facing out. And then you want um, the piece. So, so if these two are going like this right here, then this piece right here should be a skinny one because that's the one that's going to slide through here. Um, so I'm actually just going to switch that out now that I have all my placement. So this was one of the skinny pieces because it's one of the last ones I just put on. So I'm going to hold everything um, carefully in place. I'm going, well, let's remove this one also. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put one of the skinnier ones there because I know that that will be helpful in the future. This piece right here, also, we want to be a skinny piece. So let me recheck what's what's skinny here. That's a skinny piece. See, this one that I had here was not skinny. I, I don't have enough hands, but I cannot fit this in the notch. So that was a bad one to have in that spot. This one will fit. Okay, so these two pieces, I had be skinny pieces. Let me put everything back to where it belongs. So um this was a fat one we can put that one down there and then just take another one of these put it right here okay i can put this one in here first that that fits perfectly fine right and that's just in there then i'm going to pick everything up very carefully show you guys see how nice it looks see how it's almost done um we just need to put that other piece into place and so to do that I'm going to start by putting this piece, pushing it down, okay? Down so that it is like flush with that, okay? Then I'm going to take this piece, line up the notch, push it down and in. But oh no, it's not going any further. It's stuck, okay? We need to get something else out of the way too and that would be this piece push this one over this way it's not going to fall out it's it's locked into place on this side i can't pull it anymore that way so it's not going to fall out just like this one on the bottom doesn't fall out they're just sliding over a little bit okay now take this line it up with the notch slide it over then slide it this way now we can slide this one back into place and lastly we slide this bottom one back up 
just like that. Oh my goodness. And then you have to be careful because sometimes this is loose enough that this will just slide back down like that. And then this slides in and yeah, it's, it's a little loose and wiggly sometimes, but that is that. And if you just set it down in a way that, um, gravity is pushing this piece in a downward position, then this will stay in place and everything's fine. And the whole thing is put back together. I know it's a lot of heartache and a lot of suffering, right? But just, just be patient with holding the pieces together. They're going to want to fall apart, but as long as you know, because for the longest time I, I thought I knew how to do it, but these pieces were not fitting in this notch. So just make sure you check your pieces beforehand, set aside two small ones. So then when the whole thing is ready, you know where the small ones, you know where you want to put the small ones to line up with the notch. These two next to each other should be small. And then you have to do, um, push this one out of the way, push this one out of the way, and then you can push this one into place. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye now.